Hey friends, welcome to first part of Excel filters. In this video, we are going to discuss and cover complete basic Excel filters. Friends, if you still have not been subscribed to our channel, I will request you to please subscribe our channel and press bell icon button so that you don't miss any video from our channel. So now, without wasting more time, we are going to start our tutorial. Here you can see we have a table that we are going to use in this tutorial. First of all, we will try to understand what this table is all about. Here you can see in this column we have different types of items that includes t-shirts, dress shirts, dress pants, uh, jeans pants with different colors. And uh, next column contains different dates on which we have been purchased these items or this inventory. And then after that we have number of units that we have been purchased for this inventory or this item. And then what is status of these items? These items. If these items are finished or not finished. And then after that price per unit. What is price? per unit for this inventory and then at last what is current location of this inventory if it is in our storeroom or it is in our shop or it is finished so as now we have some idea of what this table is all about now let's move toward filters the first thing that you need to learn about filters is that how we can insert or put filter on any table for that we have three options or uh, by uh, three methods we can insert or we can put filter on any table uh, the first method is that we need to go to home tab then in home tab we, at last we have an option sort and filter in sort and filter we have four further options out of those four options we have one option filter that we need to insert on our table but before you uh, click on this option you need to make sure that your selection should be on your table now you can see my selection is not on my table so when i will click on the so what i will do i will bring my selection on table and again i will go to home tab sort and filter filter and here you can see successfully i have been inserted filter on my table how you will know that filter has been inserted or your table already has filter or no these small drop down box uh, sorry these small drop down arrows on each of headers of your table will show that your table has filter already now i will remove this filter how i will remove i will go to home tab sort and filter and again filter so now second method how i can insert filter by second method I need to press Ctrl Shift and L key at same time. So I will press Ctrl plus Shift plus L and here you can see second time successfully inserted filter again. So again I will remove this. And third method for uh, the third way to insert filter is that we will right click on our table and here you can see we have option filter. In this filter option we have further four options that we will, we will not discuss at this level and maybe at last of this tu uh, tutorial we will discuss this option. So I will again insert filter so that we can further discuss our uh, filter, uh, how we can use filters and what is use of filter. So here you can see uh, now we have inserted filter on our table and here you can see on this uh, column I have a different, I have two types of data finished, not finished, finished, not finished that shows that this inventory item is finished, this inventory item is not finished and so on. So suppose that I'm just interested in to see the items that are finished how I can filter that data using filters. To filter that data, I need to go here to drop down box, uh, sorry, drop down arrow and I will click here and here you can see, this is showing me three uh, check boxes. First check boxes obviously select all. When we will uncheck this, this will, uh, all check boxes will be unchecked. So as I said, I, I'm just interested in to see items that are finished. I will just check this box finished and I, I will go for okay. And here you can see, now this is showing me all those in my inventory items that are already finished. Here you can see on left side these uh, headers of rows are on, in blue color. This is showing that we have been used filtering on our table. So uh, are some uh, rows are hidden from this table. When I will remove filter from my table this will show uh, this you can see these are normal now. So now again, I if I just want to see that items that are not finished, I will again go to this drop down arrow and I will just uncheck this box finished and I will go for OK and how, here now you can see all those items that are not finished are here and here you can see data is hidden again. So I will just remove filter from here, clear filter from here and again now we will move toward the uh, column that has dates in it. If we if we use filters on our dates, this is very helpful for data analysis. This shows us many more options to uh, filter uh, to analyze our data based on dates. So let's see how this shows us many more options. 
here you can see uh, this column contains uh, dates that belongs to to uh, 2017 and 2018 year suppose i just want to see the items that i purchased in 2018 how i will filter data i will just click here and here you can see this is automatically showing us that you have data for two years 2018 and two, uh, 2017 if i uncheck this box means i just want to see 2018 data and here you can see all these items belongs to 2018 and here uh, further if we analyze it here you can see uh, this when we I will expand this 2018 this is also showing me months if I want to just see maybe uh, in April 2018 what I purchased I will check this box and I will go for ok and here you can see in April 2018 I have been purchased these items these units these units unit price and so on so I will select all okay so now uh, that i said that this uh, when we use filters on dates this shows us much more options to analyze our data so here you can see date filters when i go on this option this is showing me you can see this is showing me much more options suppose here you can see this uh, maybe this month you can see here the month is november 2018 when i will go for this month this will show me just november items that are purchased in november uh, 2018 and uh, here if i go for maybe uh, last month maybe this will show me october and if i go for maybe uh, maybe next month you can see there is nothing for next month because it is still november and next month is not came <coughs> so uh, again i will go to data filter and here you can see before after tomorrow yesterday and so on last year maybe last year you can see here 2017 so we can uh, use when we use filter on dates we can do much more things with our uh, data now let's move towards numbers we have already uh, discussed this text filter on text filter on dates and now let's move toward numbers uh, here you can see uh, we have all numbers that we have in this column but uh, when we use this number filters this is shows us much more options also i uh, suppose i just want to filter based on equal to maybe i just want to filter data equal to that is 970 i will uh, go for ok and here you can see data is filtered based on 970 any cell that has 970 in it is filtered again i will go to number filter and uh, maybe does not equal to maybe uh, does not equal to 970 and here you can see this is showing me all numbers but not equal to 970 uh, so uh, one more thing in place of uh, in place of checking and unchecking and using these options there is one more thing that we can use here that is search box maybe i just want to see units that have nine in it i will just write here and i will press enter and here you can see these all numbers or these all units purchased have nine in it if i specify my search further maybe i just want uh, all those numbers or all units purchased that have nine in it but nine should not be on first place I will write here hysteric at start and I will write then again 9 I will press enter and here you can see these all numbers or units purchased have 9 in it but 9 is not on first place and maybe uh, I just want to uh, more specify my search I just want those numbers uh, that that has 9 in it but 9 should not be at last place at last place should be something else so I have been written or, or I have been inserted hysteric at last I will go for ok and here you can see all these numbers or all these units have 9 in it but uh, 9 is not at last place because I have been uh, inserted static at last so now uh, just uh, let's let filter here also I will just uncheck this not not finished and okay and here you can see I just want to show you one more thing here you can see we have been used filtering uh, or we have been filtered data for these two columns now if I want to remove uh, this filter at uh, so speedily how i can remove this filtering from all these columns so uh, one method is that i will just click here and i will go for uh, clear filter and then i will go click here and clear filter and here you can see all filters have been cleared i will just undo this uh, the second method is that i will go to home tab and and uh, sort and filter and then clear and this is cleared again this is a uh, second method that is a speedy method then again i will go for uh, undo i will do uh, i will undo this and third method is that uh, i will the third method is that i will press control shift and l key at same time and again i will con uh, press control shift and l key again and here you can see these uh, filtering has been cleared 
so the uh, one more interesting thing relating to filters is that we can also filter data based on color suppose i will uh, maybe i will color here some cells maybe uh, in yellow color and here below maybe in uh, other color maybe that is uh, maybe blue or oh, sorry maybe that now suppose i just want to filter cells that are colored or that uh, have background of yellow i will just go here uh, filter by color of yellow and then again filter by uh, maybe filter by red and here you can see these all cells are filtered by red color and again i will uh, just remove filter from here and now we can also sort data based on color you can see sort by color maybe a uh, yellow now you can see all yellow cells are above at top and uh, maybe i just want to filter based on this red color here you can see these all red, all red colored cells are at top here are more sorting maybe i just want to sort in uh, smallest to largest here you can see these are sorted smallest to largest maybe again largest to smaller and here you can see largest to smallest now suppose if you want to separate some specific data from your this complete data suppose i just want to separate this maybe a finished data i just want to keep separate this finished data i will just filter based on this finished i will just copy this all i will go to second sheet i will just paste here and here you can see here uh, you can see this is showing uh, these uh, row headers are in blue color that is showing that here data is filtered or some rows are hidden but here the data that we have been pasted here this is not showing here uh, row headers in blue color this means here just data that is pasted just belongs to finished items now the last and useful tip for this basic filters is that sometimes you know we have here field on medical data we have here medical data sometimes we need some of these medical values uh, just let me uh, clear here filter here you can see uh, these uh, units purchased here you can see units purchased are total uh, 57,553 sometimes we need to get some of all these values uh, now let's suppose we will use here some formula and here you can see we have 57,553 but when I will filter maybe I will filter here uh, maybe just uh, uh, finished uh, not finished items and here you can see this value is still same mean this is not showing us actually result for that here we should not use some formula we should use here subtotal just again let me remove uh, clear filter from here and here I will use uh, subtotal formula subtotal and here I just want to sum I will just select this option I will insert comma and I will just select here the reference I will close back it I will press enter and here you can see this is showing me same value for 57,553 but when I will filter this data let's filter this data not finished and here you can see this is showing me this actual value the value of these uh, units that have been uh, finished already you can see this is 17207 this is equal to 17207 but here one more thing uh, that you here you can see 26 of 77 records found here you can see this is showing that total records are 77 but filtered value are 26 then just let me uh, clear this filter and here you can see the total value just let me show you these total values here are 77 so friends this was first part of excel filters uh, in which we have been covered complete basic filters in Microsoft Excel. If you like this video, please don't forget to uh, give thumbs up, subscribe our channel and press bell icon button. Don't forget to share this knowledge with your friends. And uh, also if you don't understand anything, just let me know in below comment section. I will answer all of your questions. And at last, thanks for watching. Bye bye.